Good day everyone, this is Michael from RoJMR and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Um, no, title is not clickbait. It really is the most expensive unboxing that I have done to date. Okay, so here she is. My 1985 C4 Corvette. You notice we're inside the garage, so there's a bit of an echo. It's cloudy and really windy outside right now. So I knew that the audio would be useless in that situation. Let's take a quick look around. Yes, those are original plates from 85. All legal here in the state of Texas. In the state of Texas, if you have classic plates, if you uh, register your car as classic, uh, classic or antique status, which is as registered as classic, you can have plates from the year it was made. And since those specific plates, I've got them over here as well, so you take a look at them better. Since those specific plates were for the sesquicentennial of Texas, 1986, these plates were made in 1985 for one year only. 1985 and the early part of 1986. One year only, so I lucked out on that. So, let's take a look on the inside. Now this, by any means, is not a show car. This is a driver. I don't drive it daily. I drive it maybe once a week. But there is some issues that need to be fixed. Uh, the roof is a little, got a little bit of scratch and scuffs in here. The paint is faded on the plastic here. There's a few paint imperfections, but overall, for what I paid for it, it's not too bad. All right, so let's take a look at the engine real quick before we, take, before we go out on our drive. The engine access is right here. And the engine does not open from here. The engine opens. It's got a suicide hood, which is awesome. Again, not perfect condition. Headlights do work, of course. Engine's a little dirty, but it's all right, it runs. So let's fire this beast up. Oh, one other thing. So one thing I do hate about this car is the battery removal. Sucks. Let me show you why. There's the battery. No way to get to it. You have to pull this whole panel. You have to take this whole panel off. It's got about five or six screws. You have to take this whole panel off. It sucks, let me tell you. So one thing I did forget to mention is the hidden gas cap. That's another cool thing in this car. All right, now before we take her out on spin, let's fire up this beautiful V8 and listen to it for a second. It's so beautiful, so pretty.
love that exhaust. I love the sound of this thing. I love this thing. All right, so here's the interior. Got that awesome dash gauge, all digital dash gauge. Love this thing. Almost feels like a almost feels like a, 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 air, a jet plane with all the switches and gauges and everything. Uh, we got the red leather, red carpet, trunk back here with privacy shade. Uh, does have the does not have the original radio on it, but that's okay. This Pioneer CD player is about 20 years old. I think it's from 2001, 2002. Never use it, but we do have a super old radar detector, which, by the way, does work. The power's up. I don't know if it would pick up anything anymore, but it does work. And of course, oh, and see down here, you got the emergency brake down here on the side. Oh, and where's the windshield wipers? Bam, right there. Let's go for a drive. So what is it I love about this car? Why did I want to pick this particular car? I've wanted a, a, Cor a Corvette for a long time. I think any kid that grew up in the 80s did. So really it was just a matter of deciding which one to get. Do I want to get an old, old one from before my time or do I want to get a newer one or do I want to get one from the era that I got the C4 era I decided the C4 era because that's the ones that were around when I was growing up that's what I saw out that's what I had posters of on the wall and so when the time came time to get one decided all right let's get this sucker I did struggle a lot to figure out which one I wanted could have got the 84 it was the first year of the C4 I thought that would have been cool then talking with people who have them they said no don't get the C4 it's got the crossfire injection in it it's problematic. It's just not good. So I went with the 85. Had the uh, the TPI tune port injection, which I've had on cars before. I had one on my Firebird. I loved it. It was great. Uh, this 85's got a little softer suspension, a little smoother ride than the 84 did. And so I made that decision. I started looking. And I thought, do I want the 85 or do I want the 86? Because the 86 was the first year that they brought back the convertible top as opposed to the target top. And so I thought that would be cool. But what they also brought introduced in 86 was the third brake light. I did not wish to have a third brake light. I wanted something unique in the fact that I could legally have a car that doesn't have 
the third brake light on it. So I went with the 85. Oh yeah, deciding between the 85 and the 86. Finally decided on the 85, and I am so happy that I did. I've, I love this car. I love driving this car. It's so much fun. You get looks whenever you drive by. Especially when you take the top down, put the windows down, nice sunny day, you had the wind blowing in your hair. It's great. I love it. And we are fixing to get out on the highway. So we're going to open this bad boy up and let's see what she can do. Getting out on the toll road. Once we get onto the on-ramp, we'll really open her up and listen to this thing fly. This thing will get up and go. Unfortunately, there was a couple of cars in front of us, so we weren't able to really open it up. I think we got up to 90, I think. I think I saw a 90 on there. All right, we're about to get back up on the highway again. Let's see if we can really wind her up and open her up and see what she can do. That's about as fast as I com feel comfortably going. So, I know this thing will do 150. I just have not had an open space to be able to find that out or taking it to a track or something, but it'll get up and go, that's for sure. What else do I love driving? What else do I love about this car? Um, what have I not said already? I like the fact that it's just, I just like the fact that it's a 35 year old car. It's a classic car. It's fun to drive. It's great because when I was a kid, I always wanted one of these. And now that I'm older and I can afford toys, I can uh, have one. I don't know what else to say about this thing besides just, it's awesome. It's rad. In case I didn't tell you before in my story time, uh, I paid nine grand for this. No, I paid, no I didn't. I paid 8,000 for it. 8,000 for it. I probably put maybe two or 3,000 into it. So as with any old car, you're going to have to do some work to it. Uh, I had to put new tires on it. The tires were 20 years old, 20 plus years old, from like 1998, I think. The tires are, yeah, about 20 years old. I redid all the fluids in it, uh, converted over the AC, new battery. That's about it. I think I've had to change a couple of light bulbs in it. A couple of fuses, 
whatever, but overall, it's still as original as the day I got it. And so, I'm extremely happy with it. I'd be glad to when I get it paid off. Because I didn't pay cash, I paid cash for it, but I did have to get a loan from the bank. So I'll be glad when I get it paid off so I can start doing some fun stuff to it. Uh, future plans are to touch up the paint, kind of get it glossy and shiny again, retint the windows, or tint the windows, period, and uh, put a new sound system in it. Other than that, um, I think I want to change all the bulbs to LED in and out. But other than that, I'm going to keep it as is and just enjoy it. So thanks for coming along with me as we go on a ride and talk about this new toy that I've required a year ago. Um, I'm super happy to have it. I'm blessed that I'm able to have it, that I was able to afford to get it. Because I've wanted a, a super old classic car like this for a long time. I did have an old 89 Firebird. Um, so that was fun. But I'm glad to be have this car. This is something I've wanted for a long, long time. And I'm very grateful and feel blessed that I have this toy that I can have and enjoy. So... Thanks for watching. Blessed be. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, which is some it's gonna be somewhere on this screen. And um, thanks for watching. <laughs>